Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Word. It is Wednesday, June 22nd. Going to be another very hot day out there today, so hope you're staying safe in all of that. Uh, we continue our conversation around our Daily Word today. There will not be a Daily Word tomorrow, so I hope you'll um, join me on Friday as we gather again. So there will not be a Daily Word tomorrow. So today, um, I've chosen... Psalm 57. And I was doing some research. Um, look, Well, actually, i um, looking for music, of course. And so um, I came across this conversation around Psalm 57. And so I thought it would be good for us to hear the psalm and then to talk about it. So psalms are often songs um, sung by David you know, we sing all kinds of songs, songs of joy, songs of lament. When we sing hymns in church, sometimes they um, inspire in us, rise up in us emotion that sometimes we didn't even know was there. And so songs have this way of, of meeting us in life. And so hear these words from Psalm 57. Be merciful me to me, O God, be merciful to me. For in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge, until the destroying storms pass by. I cry to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame those who trample on me. God will send forth his steadfast love and his faithfulness. I lie down among lions that greedily devour human prey. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul, awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is as high as the heavens. Your faithfulness extends to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Yet let your glory be over all the earth. So, you know me. I love to sing. Um, some, some days I listen to myself sing. Um, if I listen to Sunday morning and go, geez, why am I singing? That's just awful. But, but, but I love to sing, and I love to express myself in that way. So sometimes, you know, it's in formal kind of songs, the songs we sing in church. Other times, if you're like me, um, it's made up songs. I make up songs given the current condition in my life, and sometimes they're crazy. They don't often make sense. But they're they're made up as a way to, you know, as a way to get me through, um, as the psalmist says, the destroying storms to wait for them to pass by. Now I want to commend this to you. When I was doing some research, looking for some music, I came across this. One of the opening opening pieces of Leonard Bernstein's Mass is a simple song. It's called A Simple Song. I commend it to you. Look it up. Leonard Bernstein's Mass, A Simple Song. It was, it was done in 1971. And it's relying on the words of the psalm. It's a song of complex praise of our souls connecting to God. And so it's, I listened to it a couple of times this morning about made up words. Just make up the words as you go uh, to use them uh, to help us in our life. The psalmist says to us, in the midst of, well, it just jumped out at me. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge until the destroying storms pass by. Many, many, many years ago, we camped in a pop-up camper. And we loved it. We, we didn't have any qualms with it. Dustin and Kelsey were little. And we were down by Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. We were in a Yogi Bear campground, the Jellystone campground, whatever they called it. And we were there a few days. 
and one night it stormed. And in the middle of the campground, the tornado sirens were going off. And it stormed really hard. And, and it was late. It was dark. We were, we were all afraid. And the kids were afraid. And Diana and I were afraid. And I remember sitting on the edge of the bed and us making up a song. Making up songs as we went along. Dancing and jumping around um, until the storm to pass by. Which they did. In our lives, you know, we... Uh, we sometimes do best, I think, when we reply to the things in our lives, pandemic, violence, hatred, political division, uh, whatever it is, that our reply to this, and mine especially, should be to make more music, more intense mu music, more beautiful music, to be more devoted to each other than ever before if we join our voices in song. Songs of lament, songs of hope, songs of joy. But I think in moments when, when the storms are the most difficult and violent, it's then that we need to lift our voice in song to make up the words. You know, simple songs. But, but the psalmist says to us, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. <laughs> I think for us to get through the destroying storms, whatever they are, and we could name them, they could be a long list of things, to get through them, maybe what we simply need to do in life is sing a song. A song that we know. A simple song that would come to us. Or a song we simply make up. Because we know, like the psalmist, the destroying storms come, uh, but they pass by. And to know the words, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. And because of that, I will sing and make melody. Well, friends, that's the good news the psalmist gives to us in the very midst of our difficult lives. Storms come, we know, but they also pass by. In the midst of it, um, God, the God of music, the God of life, helps us to sing, even in these days. And that's good news for you and me. And so I pray that today you'll find a song, one you know, or one that you have the courage simply to make up. You don't have to sing it for anybody else. You know, you can sing it in the shower. You can sing it in your backyard. You can sing it while riding on your lawnmower, driving your car. But know that in that, the storms pass by and our hearts are steadfast. And God continues to give us a song. So, I hope that's a good word for you as it is for me today. Know of God's love and grace that surrounds you. Know of my love for all of you. I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you Friday morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.